Can you really buy low carb food at Costco and do you actually save money? That's why we're gonna check today. I have been to Costco for the first time and I want to show you all the things I bought that are low carb, keto friendly and check the price as well to see if we can save some dollars shopping at Costco. So the first thing I bought was unsweetened almond milk. I chose to buy this one because it was looking good in, in terms of ingredient. It was quite similar to what I used uh, in my shop with just one gram of carb per serving, so for one cup. I saved $20 buying 12 pack of this, so it was a huge saving. The taste is good, but unfortunately, if you like coffee like I do, it doesn't froth very well. It doesn't make a foam on your coffee. So I'm not sure I'm gonna buy this one again for my coffee, but definitely a good saving for baking low carb stuff. Next, I bought hemp seeds. I love this to make my low carb breakfast, low carb oatmeal, also to add on top of my salads or my dessert. It's actually quite expensive and this one is a good quality product because as you can see, uh, it's GMO free. It's also from Australia. I live in New Zealand, so it's not coming from far away. So it's good for the environment. And it has a bunch of 30 grams of protein per 100 grams. So it's very good. Money wise, I saved $8 on that bag. I know it's a huge bag, but it lasts for one year. So I can definitely use that in one year for my breakfast. And also, if you don't know how to use hemp seed in low carb baking, I'm gonna link some recipe for you below, like my hemp seed granola bars, my hemp seed oatmeal for breakfast. They are absolutely easy and delicious for you guys. So I'm gonna link that below in the description. My next Costco find are this big jar of cinnamon. I love cinnamon in low carb lifestyle because it really helped me fix my sweet tooth. It has a sweet flavor to my cakes, even in my coffee or my smoothies. I will link some recipe for you guys as well if you like. And this big jar lasts two years and I saved $13 buying in that size. So it's absolutely the best or one of the best deal I made um, it at Costco. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I'm gonna buy that again for sure. The next Costco find is this super fine almond flour. Best deal I made at Costco. I use that a lot in my low carb baking. I mean, I use probably almond flour every day to make mug cakes, cakes, bread. So I recommend you to check that because buying in this size saved me $18 for the bag. If you have too much of it, don't worry. You can freeze it in small bags, throw in the fridge the day before and use along during at least one year. So it's a very, very good deal and the quality is amazing. I'm gonna show you inside. The texture is perfect and the color as well. It's exactly what you need for low carb baking. And my next Costco find is avocado oil. I love avocado oil on low carb to fry my food, like if I do some chicken, some vegetable, or to air fry food as well. I will also link some recipe for you guys below about air frying some low carb vegetable using avocado oil. It's one of the healthiest oil on low carb, but unfortunately it can be quite pricey. So when I saw that big bottle of one liter, I about it and the taste is amazing the color is light not very green like we have in new zealand but price wise 
I actually pay one dollar more buying this one. I guess it's because I live in New Zealand, we have lots of avocado and therefore buying avocado oil from New Zealand is less expensive than buying this one coming from Mexico. So I'm not gonna buy this one again. My next Costco find are golden flaxseed. I love flaxseed in my recipes, not on their own. I like to grind them like this in a powder and use this in my bread or a tablespoon in my smoothies in the morning to add healthy fat, protein and fiber as well. It's very good for gut health and actually it really helped me stabilize my blood sugar level and my weight as well because when I eat that I realize I eat less as well. It keeps me full. Anyway, uh, price wise, I actually lost three dollars buying this at Costco so it's not the best deal I did but it's very good quality, GMO free and they are not roasted so it means they are very very healthy. And as you can see, they are GMO free, gluten free, full of healthy fat, magnesium, omega free, and a good source of fiber. So it's a good quality product. It's five stars. And even if I paid a little bit more, I'm quite happy with this buying. Next, I bought unsweetened whipped cream. I absolutely love that on top of my mug cakes. I will share some keto mug cake recipe below for you guys. Also on top of my berries like raspberries, blueberries, just to make a quick small snack. It's made of pure heavy cream. It has 0.6 gram of carb per serving, so it has no sugar as well. So it's very nice on a low carb diet because you can enjoy some sweet dessert without the sugar and it really looks like real cream. It's amazing. And even if it has no sugar, it does taste amazing like real cream. Price wise, I saved $3.50 on this giant bottle, so it's a very good deal. Next, I was supposed to show you a box of 250 grams of fresh raspberries, but unfortunately my kids jump on my shopping bag and they already eat the whole box. But I wanted to tell you that I saved $12 on a box of 250 grams, so it was a huge deal. I'm definitely gonna buy my raspberries at Costco again. My next Costco find is this cacao powder. It's unsweetened, it's five stars, it's certified organic, so it's amazing quality. Unfortunately, I paid four dollars more for this box, so it's actually not the best, the best deal I made. But um, on low carb, that's the kind of cacao powder you should use for my recipes. Uh, like to make my chocolate coconut flour cake. I will link below if you want to try it. And my next Costco find is this big jar of coconut oil. I bought it because it's organic, it's virgin, cold pressed and unrefined. It means it has all the benefits of coconut oil and it's perfect to make no-bake recipes like my no-bake granola bars that are low carb and keto. I will link it below as well for you guys. Anyway, price wise, I only save five dollars buying this big jar. So it's not a huge deal, but still five dollars is good. So I'm gonna buy this one again. Next, I bought almond butter. Almond butter is a delicious low carb spread to add on your toast for breakfast or on your dessert, berries. It has no added sugar. I'm very happy with the product. Money wise, I save twelve dollars on the jar. It's a huge saving. It's definitely a yes because it tastes so good. Next, I bought some zucchinis. I use zucchini almost weekly, even if they can be very expensive in my supermarket. I found some at Costco and I saved $6.6 for a bag of actually six. I already used some in my cooking. Um, so in low carb, Cooking, I like to make zucchini lasagna. I like to also make zucchini noodles. And I'm gonna drop some recipe for you guys below if you want to try them. My next Costco found is this oregano. I use that a lot in all my Italian recipe to make my homemade keto pasta sauce. I'm gonna link it below for you guys as well. And I saved $10 on that box and it lasts for a year. So I'm gonna buy it again at Costco next time. It's a very good saving. And my next Costco discovery are these mushrooms. I saved $6 on this big box of mushroom and I do love mushroom on a low carb diet because it's so low carb but also full of plant-based protein. 
I like to use mushroom on top of my pizza or in some casserole to make my green bean casserole or to replace some bacon in some of my casserole because it's full of protein and it's vegetarian. I'm gonna link some local pizza recipe below as well if you just want to try to make some. Next, I bought this pink limonade. I usually don't drink soda, but this one attracted my attention because it was zero sugar 100% natural and when you check the ingredients you can see that it's sweetened with erythritol and it contains carbonated water and natural sweetener and natural flavors with only no carbs actually no carbs and no sugar per serving plus i really like the design of the bottle and with uh, the holiday coming up i thought it would be a nice drink to offer to my family and my guests and the taste is actually pretty good it's not very sweet and it's a bit fruity with small bubbles inside and the best part i saved 22 dollars buying six bottles of this so it's a very good saving this is my last costco found if you don't live in new zealand you will probably not find these lotetos Lotetos are natural, there's nothing modified about these potatoes, but they are low carb. They are grown in a way that they contain only 10 grams of carb per 100 grams. It means they contain as much carb as your broccoli or cauliflower. Well, almost. Anyway, if you like potatoes and you want to indulge on some potatoes, this is the one to buy. And so on this bag, I saved $4 at Costco, so it's a very good deal. So on this Costco haul, I saved $123, so that's huge money, I'm very happy with that. And this is the kind of low-carb product I'm gonna buy you again next time for sure. I hope you guys enjoy this low-carb Costco haul. And if you want me to do another one or to do some other kind of video that could help you on your low-carb low journey, just comment below. And of course, if you like this channel, Subscribe and like this video to see more. Bye!